Hello students, our today's topic is cryptochromes and uh, today we will discuss structure, function and mechanisms of action of cryptochromes. You know, plants possess two types of photoreceptors, photosynthetic pigments and photosensory receptors. Photosynthetic pigments harvest light energy for photosynthesis and uh, photosensory receptors mediate non-photosynthetic light responses. Plants use cryptochromes and other photoreceptors to sense environmental cues like irradiance, day-night transition, photoperiods, and light quality for optimal growth and development. Cryptochromes are flavin-containing blue light photoreceptors and first discovered in Rabidopsis. Cryptochromes, abbreviated as CRY, CRY, regulate growth and development in plants and the circadian clocks in both plants as well as in animals. Rabidopsis genome encodes three cryptochrome genes, CRY1, CRY2, and CRY3. CRY1 and 2 act primarily in the nucleus, right? CRY1 mediate blue light regulation of deethylation and CRY2 uh, involved in photoperiodic control of flowering. Whereas CRY3 probably functions in chloroplasts and mitochondria. Arabidopsis CRY3 belongs to CRY clad of photolyase cryptochrome superfamily and it is known to act as a single standard DNA repairing enzyme. Cryptochromes are probably the evolutionary descendants of DNA photolyases. DNA photolyases are light activated DNA repair enzymes, right? So cryptochromes are classified into three groups, plant cryptochromes, animal cryptochromes, and cry dash proteins. Now, what are these cry dash proteins? Cry dash uh, can repair cyclobutene, primitine dimer lesions in single stranded DNA and in loop structure of double stranded DNA with the same efficiency right means uh, uh, these cry dash proteins act as dna repairing enzyme cry dashes uh, are also involved in light regulation uh, during the development and uh, secondary metabolism of fungi however cry dash of some organisms have been reported to possess both dna repairing enzyme activity and photosensory activity Rhabdopsis cry 3 can also act as dual function photoreceptor in uh, mitochondria and chloroplasts. Now, cryptochrome structure. Cryptochromes are composed of two major domains, right? So, just look at this uh, figure cry 1 and cry 2. This is N terminal part and this is C terminal, right? So, N terminal uh, means two domains. One is N terminal PHR, PHR for photolyase homologous reason. This domain uh, is of about 500 residues. And this red one, C terminal extension, CCE uh, domain of various lengths, right? CCE for cryptochrome C terminal extension. CCE of Arabidopsis cry 1 here and cry 2 are approximately 180, this is 180 and 110 residues in length respectively. PHR domain, this green one, is required for chromophore binding and homodimeration of Arabidopsis cry 1 and cry 2, right? Whereas CCE is an effector domain of cryptochrome right phr domain of arabidopsis cry 1 and cry 2 both bind non-covalently to fad right this is fad now what is effector domain effector domain uh, can mediate gene activation or uh, repression by promoting the formation of active or repressed chromatin by interacting with domains uh, in other factors to form platforms for recruitment of 
co-regulatory proteins or by stimulating or inhibiting pre-inhibition complex formation or uh, productive elongation, right? Now, Rhabdopsis cry one PHR domain has uh, these features. And terminal alpha beta subdomain residue 13 to 139 connected via loop to C terminal alpha helical subdomain residue 217 to 495. Alpha beta domain has again five standard parallel beta sheets flanked by four alpha helix, uh, helix and uh, are three um, ten helix resembling a dinucleotide binding domain. Then C terminal helical domains form a FAD assess activity whereby non covalently bound FAD is buried, as you have already seen in the previous picture. PHR domain of Rabidopsis cry 1 binds ATP. Now listen the adenine and ribose moieties of ATP penetrate into FAD assess activity, whereas Phosphates of ATP are found near the surface of PHR domain, right? Where the CCE domain may interact. So, surface of cry 1 PHR is pre predominantly negatively charged, right? Cry C terminal extension then in cryptochromes, here means cryptochromes from different plant species share a common sequence motif in their CCEs. Cryptochromes from liverwort, mosses, and ferns all possess various versions of DAS motif. Clemidomnus, a single uh, cellular green alga, has a plant type cryptochrome, CPH1. Clemidomnus CPH1 uh, is 49% identical to PHR domain to that of Rhabdopsis cry 1. But it contains no DS, DAS motif in the CCE domain, right? CCE domains of cryptochromes act as effector modules by undergoing light induced folding or unfolding to alter their interaction with the PHR domain and to change the overall conformation of the photoreceptors, right? Now, function of cryptochromes. As I already told you, CRY1 and CRY2 mediate blue light regulation of deatulation and photoperiodic control of flowering. In addition, these two photoreceptors regulate other aspects of plant growth and development, including guard cell development, stomatal opening, root growth, plant height, fruit and ovule size, tropic growth, apical dominance, apical meristem activity, uh, highlight stress response, osmotic stress response shared avoidance and responses to bacterial and viral pathogens right now mechanisms of action actually this mechanism of action i have taken from the study by Liu et al 2011 an article the action mechanisms of plant cryptochromes published in trans in uh, plant science journal so this is um, actually photo excitation and signal transduction mechanism of Rhabdopsis cryptochromes, right? So we will study a complete mechanism of action under three headings. Number one, photo excitation of cryptochromes, then photobiochemistry of cryptochromes, and signal transduction of cryptochromes. So first we'll start with the photo excitation of cryptochromes, right? Now, chromophores of cryptochromes means flavin adenine dinucleotide, right? This is is a two electron carrier that can exist in one of the three different redox states or five different protonated forms right these three different redox states oxidize fad this one semi-reduced two forms a nine radical fad this one or neutral radical fadh this Third, fully reduced flavin, maybe FADH or FADH2, right? 
among these different redox forms only uh, means oxidized flavin and anion radical semiquinone flavin this one absorbs significant amount of blue light right it has been proposed that oxidized flavin may be the ground state chromophore of Arabidopsis uh, cryptochromes because it absorbs blue light most effectively. Cryptochromes in dark means in ground state contain oxidized FAD, as you have already seen. FAD is reduced, first oxidized FAD, this is reduced to semi reduced FADH upon blue light absorption, which may be further reduced to FADH2, right? The photo reduction of this oxidized FAD to semi reduced FADH triggers a conformational change of cryptochromes and the subsequent signal transduction. So, reduce flavin, then oxidize again to complete the photocycle. Second is photobiochemistry of cryptochromes. Rabidopsis cry 1 and 2 undergoes phosphorylation in etiolated seedlings exposed to blue light means when etiolated seedlings are exposed to blue light cry 1 and cry 2 undergoes phosphorylation and cryptochrome phosphorylation is required for its photo activation right cce domain of rabidopsis cry 1 and 2 is approximately as i already told you 180 and 110 residues in length right uh, and is thought to uh, act as an effector domain. CCE domain appears intrinsically unstructured, but it may change conformation upon photo excitation. Right? It has been proposed that blue light dependent phosphorylation of cryptochromes causes electrostatic repelling of CCE domain from the surface of negatively charged PHR domain of cryptochrome resulting in separation of two domains to trigger or alter interaction between cryptochromes and their signaling partners right now signal transduction last step signal transduction of cryptochromes here modulation of nuclear gene expression is there this is the major consequence of blue light dependent cryptochrome signal transduction right whereby photo excited cryptochromes change conformation to interact with cry signaling proteins triggering change changes of gene expression and developmental programs of plants right cryptochromes mediate blue light control of gene expression via at least two mechanisms Number one, light dependent modulation of transcription, and second, light dependent suppression of uh, proteolysis. Right? Both mechanisms are involved with blue light dependent protein protein interactions of cryptochromes and the signaling proteins. Right? So, this is all about cryptochromes, structure, function, and mechanisms of action. If you have any question, please uh, write in the comment section, right? Thank you so much.